watch uh, Gilmore Gang, you've seen the uh, chat center. Came and visited the guy who built it. <laughs> and we're talking about why uh, why Chat Center is going to be very useful for small businesses. But first of all, who are you? Uh, Keith Tier. Yeah. Uh, I live here in, here in my house right now. Yeah, thanks for having me over. Um, tell me a little bit about who you are because f people might have seen you on Gilmore. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm one of those guys that's never had a real job um, since I was... Out of university, I've started businesses. Um, I've had some really good ones and some really bad ones. Um, the ones that uh, people will know about in the UK, UK, which is where I'm from, they'll know about EasyNet. EasyNet was the first ISP in Europe, ended up being in 29 countries and was acquired by Rupert Murdoch's B Sky B after having gone public back in the mid to late 90s. Um, and uh, then I moved to the States here and did a company called Real Names, where I had the uh, good fortune to hire Michael Arrington as my head of corp dev uh, out of uh, his law firm, Wilson Sonsini, in those days. Yeah. Real Names raised $130 million and filed an IPO within two years at $1.5 billion. And at that point, EasyNet was worth a billion dollars as well. So that's two unicorns in like five years during the crazy times. Um, and um, you were one of the co-founders of TechCrunch. I went on to co-found TechCrunch with Mike. Yeah. Al although, to be fair to Mike, it was really his thing, and I was like his mentor. Uh, and I owned stock in it, but I never really played a front and center role. I was much more behind the scenes guy, teaching him and helping him yeah. as best I could. And uh, we did the TechCrunch out of a joint effort called Archimedes Labs, which I still run. So Archimedes Labs actually incubated TechCrunch. Uh, initially for about the first year and um, he and I have stayed friends which I think is some kind of an achievement uh, me and him have stayed friends too yeah and, um, <laughs> and um, by the way he just got engaged yeah. which uh, he Congrats. should be congratulated for with Ashley uh, and now I run Archimedes Labs and Chat Center is one of our incubated companies a bit like TechCrunch was yeah. um, that's its that's its genesis so uh, Archimedes Labs is a is a minority shareholder in Chat Center, and, I, I'm, and I'm running. I like Chat Center because it's <laughs> yet another example of you can enter a crowded market as long as you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Google was the 17th search engine. I, you know, sometimes uh, entrepreneurs pitch me on things, I and they use what I call sleep words. That you know, they they're entering a crowded market. Yeah. They're going into travel, or they're going into, you know photo sharing app or something like that yeah. and I, I go to sleep yeah and it, and then you have to wake me back up and you woke me back up partly because Gilmore Gang chose chose to use you but um, partly because you're coming up with an interesting new idea of of what chat is well right? thank you yeah you know I think there's a there's a rule which is it's all about history so if you say you've got a new way of travel it better be at that moment where horses go to fashion wheels come in because you you know you could say travel's taken care of we've got we ride on a horse but how much better to be able to take five people in a horse and buggy and how much better still to get rid of the horse and put an engine in so constants like travel actually are not constants yeah. and uh, chat isn't a constant either chat uh, has a history a prehistory and it will have a future history so if you can snapshot the present and figure out what's wrong with it you can actually still innovate in an area that appears to be crowded because what you do is you change the conversation yeah um uh, or the paradigm as they sometimes people call it so chat center is a very different paradigm which means some people find it hard to grasp initially and then the penny drops yeah um and and uh, you know it's founded upon the belief that all communications need needs ultimately to be universal that is to say the address to communicate with a person should be sufficient to reach them. Yeah, and that's why I wanted to talk to you about, uh, you know, in my role at Rackspace, I'm supposed to go around and, and study the future. <laughs> that's my job. But I am really uh, also studying customer service and how companies provide customer service because we aspire to be one of the best customer service companies in the world. So, I, you know, I. I go and hang out with the executive team at the Ritz or go to Zappos and get a tour, or, 
you know, study companies who are doing great customer service. And one of the ways is to chat with your customers, to talk with your customers, right? That's, that's the purest form. If you can find an easier way to Absolutely. talk to your customer, you're going to provide hopefully better service. Well, if, you know, this, yeah. this is chat centers customers from last night and here's, here's the customers and uh, you know, here are the chats and uh, e each chat, is somebody received an email from us offering a service and they clicked a link in the email and they were chatting back with us. Yeah, and uh, they didn't need to load an app or anything. They to didn't need to load anything. Yeah. And look at it, look at how long this chat is. This is with one customer. And at the very end, uh, I like it. Well, I think it's a great product with a great vision. Yeah. And, and how hard is it to have a funnel that closes immediately the person clicks the link? through a conversation. That's yeah. pretty hard to do. And uh, this is a very simple way to achieve that. So I, I, I'm building a new email newsletter. I have a, a newsletter, it probably has 4,000 subscribers to it already. It just started a, a few months ago. What would I do in there to have a to have to have chat built in? You would basically put chat.center slash globalizer as a link yeah. somewhere in the email, depending on your taste, how prominent or hidden that is it could be as small as a signature on an email yeah. uh, or it could be as prominent as click here if, we, if you want to chat if you've got questions and what you do is by doing that you're, you're you are creating what is effectively a permanent method for your readers to come and ask you questions now right now I put Facebook in there so they can send me a Facebook message which has chat that's but, okay. But what what would what would Chat Center do for a small business guy? I guess then better than a Facebook. Or, what, what, uh, or what if it, you're in China, you probably are using WeChat, and if you're in the Middle East, you're probably using uh, WhatsApp, right? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, so so our starting point is 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 a, an assumption, and that assumption is that most small businesses, and let's take your newsletter as an example of a small business. There's one proprietor. In your case, several thousand customers, readers. Yeah. Um, our assumption is that the small business uh, is, has two characteristics. The first is they have a smartphone. And the second is their content is mostly web-based, okay. which is true of almost every small business, whether it's a plumber, an electrician, a contractor, a consultant, a hairdresser. That's how they are. One, one person, website, smartphone. And uh, what's the easiest way to get a visitor to get from a website to a conversation with someone who has a smartphone? A click, yeah. a single click. So we said, okay, there's already technology in existence that lets you invoke a service from a click. It's called a URL. So let's make URLs chat names. Mine is chat.center slash Keith. Yours is chat.center slash scobalizer. The nice thing about URLs is they work with domain names as well. Yeah. So, uh, so my Archimedes Labs, which I run, chat.archimedeslabs.com is a chat address. www.archimedeslabs.com is a web address. I've got a www. Now I've got a chat dot. Yeah. So we can make every domain in the world, and there's nearly 300 million of them, have a chat dot as well as a www. Dot. And the owner, if they have a smartphone, installs our app, and every inbound chat goes to their smartphone, and now they've turned their smartphone into a fully-fledged call center. And they're only one man band. The customer has no clue. They, they're just seeing good customer service. So this is great for a pizza restaurant, or great for a, a, a musician, great for all sorts of stuff. Anyone right? that needs to interact with customers in close to real time. Now Rackspace, uh, it's, it's, is it appropriate for something like that? Because we have a thousand people on a call center and, and it, it, people it, answering Twitter yeah. all day long. And it is not appropriate for environments where there's a, a more sophisticated, fully fledged ticketing system yeah. with audit trails and tracking and multiple operators who might at any given moment deal with a customer that someone else dealt with previously. It is not aimed at that. Those systems cost $100, $200 a month per seat, uh, have huge integration needs of, of engineering to get them set up and running. Ours, you can have it up and running literally in two minutes. It's putting a URL into a website. Yeah. Typically a WordPress But this site. like the pizza shop have basically what we have at Rackspace because we, we, we have chat capabilities. Um, pizza for... Express has what you have. Yeah. Uh, Howie's Pizza, which is a one-stop shop. No, they don't have that because they don't, they're not a huge business with hundreds of outlets. Yeah. So we're targeting the, 
you know, and by the way, in America, there's 23 million one person businesses. If you go to two person businesses, it's under a million. So there's a huge market in one person businesses and a, and a fraction of that market in two person businesses. So you have to charge literally, uh, you know, 20 times as much to a two person business as a one person business to get the same revenue. We can charge $3.99 a month for a chat ID. Um, our nearest rival, which is like Olock or Intercom, are charging $20 and $30 a month for an equivalent service. So uh, that's because they're targeting bigger customers. We're targeting yeah. small customers. Very cool. What is it uh, let you, and maybe you should show me a little bit of what it looks like to a business. So let's let's take that pizza shop. What, what would a pizza shop look like and, well, and so how would they uh, be able to use it uh, on their web and on their uh, so know, let's, Facebook? And, may, maybe we can start with uh, our own. So here I am on the web right. and I'm logged into chat center support. Okay. Um, and, and so you basically come in and you buy your ID and then you can log into it. Yeah. I'm here on the web and I'm logging into it and now I'm going to see all the chat center customers who've been asking for support and it's all cloud based so it's coming from the cloud. So let's pick, uh, let's pick this one yeah. uh, and you know, yeah, first question was how much is it and we answered them. Next question is you know, what do I get for that? How many chats can be deducted at once? Is it all day? Is it constantly on? And the answer is you pay per chat address and you can have an unlimited number of one-on-one -on -one chats. Yep. Um, how does it look? Well, we were able to copy and post a screenshot for them to show them how it looks. Um, so we did 100% of our customer interaction using Chat Center. And so in this case, we're the customer using our own service and this is a web visitor or an email receiver asking a question from having clicked a link. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Uh, if, I, if I log out... Now, the, the customer doesn't need to have an app loaded. They need nothing. If they, they just are going to see a, a link on the web page, they hey, see chat link. with us or something like that. Yes. They, 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 uh, so I'll show you an example of that. So let's, right. go, to, uh, let's go to Archimedes Labs, where, right. where I've implemented it. This is, by the way, a WordPress site. Okay. Archimedes Labs. Two things. There's a button here that says click to chat. Yep. If I click on that, it's going to open in a separate window a live chat with Archimedes Labs. Yeah. And then the secondly down here on the bottom right, there's a widget. Right, and if I click in the widget, you know, I can say hi and it wants to know who I am. Yeah. Because we don't want the customer to not know who they're talking to. Yeah. So I'll put in my name. It asks for my email address because if this customer goes away and, and we answer later, we want them to get the answer. Yeah. So we send it to their email. And now I've said hi and Archimedes Labs has got my message. So that's all in place. I didn't leave context. Great for e-commerce sites, for example, where you want the person to stay inside and maybe they're asking a, a question about a product that's right there. Yeah. So you want to keep them there. Whereas the first example, the click to chat button takes them up to a whole new page. Got it. Uh, so they don't stay in context. Now, if, if somebody at Archimedes Labs actually answered that right now, it would come right here. You would see the answer right here. Yeah. So if I open, you don't need to do it. Uh, I, I believe it works. I could do it. <laughs> so it really is like a universal glue between people and businesses, but it starts with a, something as simple as a URL that invokes a chat service in the cloud. It's a, a SaaS service for chat. Yeah. Um, and it's three ninety nine a month. Three ninety nine a month for like all you need is one to one chats. Yeah. One business, one customer at a time. You can have multiple one to one chats, but it's each one is a one to one. If you want group chat, like we do for the Gilmore Gang, that's chat.center slash Gilmore Gang, that's ten bucks a month, nine ninety nine a month. Very cool. Um, so it you know, it's very simple, it couldn't be more simple. Yeah. Uh, that's the beauty of it really. Um, Does it have an API so I could build that into a mobile app or something like that? Yeah, we actually have app developers who built it in. So if you install World Clock on your Mac, for example, the help system on World Clock is using Chat Center. There's an app about to go in the app store called Sunshine, which is a very clever weather app that's part of our community's labs. Their whole chat system is built using our APIs. The APIs are not yet published, so if there are developers listening and want to be able to do this in their apps, they need to talk to us. And they can get me at, on Chat Center, chat.center slash Keith, 
and I'll pretty much respond instantly if they chat with me. Yeah, and it's all built with uh, web protocols, right? You're not using Jabber or anything weird. It's 100% using HTTPS on, on, as, the, as the transport layer. So it's totally open, nothing special to implement. And that's because, you know, when Jabber was invented, there were all kinds of scaling challenges with chat. And uh, now the web has evolved to the point where companies like Rackspace provide you with simple ways to scale. Uh, Docker, you know, add, adding Docker and things like that, you get great ways to scale. Uh, so uh, HTTPS is actually a great transport layer now. And, yeah. it's, and it's encrypted. How did, how did you find this company? Uh, we, we, some of it was funded by myself through our community labs initially. We raised altogether $370,000 from angel investors back in early 2014. And so it's been pretty much bootstrapped. It's a very small team. It's uh, Alex Komarov, who is a well-known designer, actually. He built the accordion app for Steve Jobs for the iPad 1 launch. He's a 29, just 30 now, actually, just had his birthday, 30-year-old Russian-born Moscow physicist who got into web design 10 years ago. He's just a great designer. And then uh, two engineers, so it's a very tight team. Yeah. Uh, where do we get it? Chat.center. Yeah, That's you. it. That's the full address. You can sign up there. Awesome. Thank you.